if you see us talking about the task, please come and join. Don't wait till we call you because if it's gossip, I'm gossiping on the table. Nobody calls you to come and sit down and gossip. Yeah. So when it's time for let me, let me finish, let me finish, let me finish, let me finish. So when it's time for when it's time for task and stuff, you cannot wait for people to finish working and you just come and cancel it and go and sleep. If you're going to cancel it, please have something else to put down for us to work. Welcome with. back again to my channel. My name is Vicky. If you see me for the very first time, hi. So yeah, so far so good. We have been having super super fun on this channel, and yeah, the Big Brother season eight All Stars <laughs> has been Big Brother, eh? not like other season you get. So earlier on, I actually brought a gist for you guys about um, Sissy and Alex. You guys, that particular fight, we will talk about it much later in this particular video. But yes, let us analyze the Ilebaye and White Money. Thingy that white, you know, Ilebaye gave white money a direct shot, like is in my previous video. The video after, before this particular video that I'm about to post, she just told white money because she was just talking to Doni, just telling Doni that she likes white money. And even before she just finished telling Doni that she likes white money, white money started coming out from inside the house. And then she told, she just straight told white money that I like you. And white money was like, ah, where is this coming from? Is this a joke or what? And she's like, it's not a joke. Is it? Is white money asked her, is it from the house? She said, no, that's from outside. And Omo, um, it was direct and yeah white money went for his diary section you get and then big brother was asking him who was he surprised to see in the house he was like he's surprised to see like mercy and fraud because mercy has money and fraud was like he won't say he's his boss because him and fraud do business like he fraud and um, gives him money to get clothes for him and he pays him you get and he was surprised he thought that he might not come and then he now confided in big brother about the ilibaye shot and how did she shock you uh, apparently, she said um, she's feeling the boy. I was coming out and I was going to the restroom and apparently she was already telling Donny that she thinks she, she likes me. So I thought it was a joke. And then she shot her shot like, uh, that was the most direct shot I've ever had in my whole life of adulthood. So direct, straight to the point. I like Literally, the guy said that that is the most direct shot he has ever had in his entire life like this gen z babe she wasn't having it she just shot his, like, her shot bam. and then she he was like the, the girl just switched his old thoughts like his old thinking like because he has always seen her like the baby of the house and he's a big brother he's trying to be a big brother to her um, the girl just came and just made his head to shift completely completely and Omo he doesn't even know what to do about it because at this point he wasn't coming to do like um love 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 but he would just see how it goes that he's open to wanting to monitor how this thing goes you understand i'm already putting her in that last bone of the house zone and then she gave me that shocker like yo i'm into you man that reset it i mean i reset hey what are speak to more reset my brain to like okay i was trying to like look for that as like and that was just basically it you guess and in my mind i'm like ilibaye i don't understand where the love ilibaye has for white money is coming from because in my mind i'm just thinking that omo ilibaye knows that <laughs> she might be the one to live in this house because walking into the house she knows she's in the midst of people that have their a game in this whole big brother thingy and she's like omo being strategic she's looking for who to hang on to well that is my own kind of i'm thinking it might be true it might not be true you get so if she wants to be strategic then yes she truly is strategic she's just trying to maybe hang on to the winner of certain you know a certain season and you know let's carry along let's start shipping so that i can go further but if if that really is what she's trying to do well i would say that is a smart one because almost um, at this point everybody that went into the diary room that big brother is asking who do you think we live on sunday is either either mentioning ilebaye or princess and the white money himself actually nominated ilebaye to live on sunday so you see what i'm trying to say you get so if today even on sunday they were actually going out ilebaye would have gone home so yes she is completely strategic in what she's doing if this is not genuine but if it's genuine kudos to by your shot you shot a direct shot and i'm like uh-huh that's my girl <laughs> i don't do that though she tried honestly speaking a diplomatic person right and i believe in anything you're doing especially when it's united right every individual every individual is entitled to express what they feel and how they feel but because i have expressed how i feel because uh, towards what you have done doesn't mean i'm discrediting your work it means i also have and i also see things in a different way so as an individual and you, should, you as alex should not take that personally because you are creative and you are talented but don't 
So you guys talking about the the issues between Alex and Sissy, like I I said in my previous video, because from the clip you just watched, you you will be watching, you will notice that it wasn't something that is supposed to bring issues. It wasn't something that should bring an altercation because um Uriel virtually said the same thing that Sissy was about to say. Uriel was like, if you feel if you if you are in a in a in a group of people and you people are supposed to do things together, everybody is supposed to have an opinion, and that doesn't mean they are discrediting what you did you understand and then alex listened you guys but when cc wanted to start talking and was like oh my he didn't you, you don't need to start sounding the way you were sounding alex fled up and walked away first and then cc got pissed and that was where the whole um altercation started but, oh then that's fine not be offended if somebody is i'm not rejected. offended i'm just saying well, if you guys bring up something please help us don't throw something and go oh, oh alex i will tell you saw me i even pulled you to the you side remember here, yes, i know i pulled you to the side yesterday to beg you Alex, now, come on. I literally took everything. I just went into hiding. You're not serious. She did it again. Oh, of course. I literally put See, let me, let me, let me, let me, no, 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 excuse me. I have to speak. I have to speak. Because no, now. I know something happening and I've been keeping quiet, right? And here, it, I just feel like it is because of the background issue they have. So it's just, it's just um, very easy for them to flip at each other. It's just very easy and very simple for them to be like, Omo, come at each other at every given opportunity. Well, this is just the three. And they started, they started coming at each other. We left our double wahala. We started discussing the concept. Yes, we three of uh, us had that. Well, did I not contribute? You, you did. Even yesterday, when I was talking, when I said what Alex did was amazing, did I not say that? Yes or no? However, you it is not a story. The, story that was the fact that you think your are not the fault. I'm saying, you don't, you don't if you guys mind. are going to say something, okay. just bring out the okay. No, I just wanted to be sure that you guys saw what happened. Because I was saying, yes, I was saying, we were there, we were discussing that. You passed, on? went to your wardrobe, and we left. You did not come. We must call you. Oh no, come and help. I can't go and sit down. You guys, I don't know how day, day 20, day 30 will be because I'm sure the both of them will go past the middle of this game, you understand? So I just hope they can easily cohabitate with them. And of course, this evening, I, AK was just talking to um, Sissy and it just felt like Sissy had finished crying. And then Ike was asking Sissy, why is your face like this? She, were you crying? And she was like, yes, yeah, she was crying. And why were you crying? She didn't say anything. And Nikki was like, are you crying because of your family? She said, yes, yeah. because you miss your family. She said, yes. But you and me, I feel like she was crying because of the altercation she has with Alex. Thank you so much. How was well, I? I stay upstairs, man. I don't too much about mm -hmm. you, you, and I don't want to do You were thinking about your family, or? Oh, you're thinking about? Don't talk about it, because I'm just crying again. Okay, sorry, 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 sorry. So hard to believe sometimes, you know. I don't know. Maybe she's regretting it, or I don't know. Maybe she's disappointed in herself. Nobody knows the reason why she was crying, but you could see that as Ike was still talking, she just told Ike to stop that before she starts crying again. So, please, I just hope they can just try to go a bit and just stop the jammer already. So earlier, when it was Mercy's time for um diary session, she actually went and Big Brother asked he had the normal question he was asking, and she was like, "Who were you surprised to see in the house when you walked in?" She said she was surprised to see Ike because she didn't believe that he was going to be there. Not like she wishes him bad. That Omo, that she, you know, walking into a place you seen somebody you had something to do with it, some type of way you get. And Big Brother was like, "I guess this is an, an opportunity for you guys to mend what is broken." And she, she was like, "Omo." It wasn't just broken it was scattered like scattered 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 that she doesn't want to mend anything with ek she wishes him all the best she wishes him to win in life and in everything he does but mending anything she's not in for anything mending that um, she wants to be on her own but that doesn't mean that they cannot work together while they're in the house of course they will be cordial in the house but nothing is gonna happen between the both of them ever again you get and i'm like oh my, everybody might run strong but nobody is about to you know lose guard in this particular season so let's just see how it goes what do you guys think about the shots in a shot at white money and white money's response being like it doesn't seem like he's so 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 interested in the here. and then what do you guys think about with the cc you know tearing up or crying earlier which we didn't see but why do you think cc cried so, and that's just basically it thank you so very much guys for watching please do not forget to like comment and subscribe if you have not subscribed i will most definitely see you guys in my next video bye guys